Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new player review here on the Fuckwears channel. Let's take a look at another legend on this game. We're going to take a look at one of my favourite ones, Hernan Crespo. Now in previous FIFAs, I've really, really liked this player. He's from Argentina. He's an 87 rated item with 87 pace, 80 dribbling and 86 shooting. Yeah, the best bit about him, in my opinion, is the fact that he's six foot one and he's got four star skill and a five star weak foot. That's what I always pick him up for, and well, he performed for me today. So one of the squad options that you've got around this guy would be a uh, lone striker option, where he plays in front of a Serie A team, actually. It's got lots of good players in it, such as Bonucci, we've got Medel, we've got Pjanic at Cam, uh, and then the other option for a team around him is in a two-striker formation, a bit more of a hybrid, a three-league mix, if you will, featuring Bundesliga players such as Jerome Boateng, League 1 players such as Matuidi, and then his strike partner from the Serie A, Paolo Dybala. So when we take a little look at Hernan Crespo's in-game stats, there's some green ones, there's some orange ones, and there's one or two very dark green, very decent looking stats. Uh, of course, some of these can be boosted across the board if you use him on that basic chemistry style and he goes up to like 89 pace, 90 shooting, some decent stats. Uh, I played him on a hunter chemistry style, which is typically the most sort of expensive and most used one, I would say, for a striker. Uh, it gives him pace and shooting. However, on second thoughts, I might recommend that you guys use like the marksman chemistry style. What that will do is boost his dribbling, which I think is an area needing some slight improvement. His shooting as well, which is great, and his physical, giving him extra strength on the game, which might help him out even more. So when we take a look at the pros and cons for the player, of course, as always, we're going to start with the negatives first. Now, there's a common theme when using legends on this game, and it is that they don't have great stamina. And um, yeah, Crespo is another candidate for that. He, he runs out of steam probably around the... Maybe even like the 65th minute, something like that. For a nearly a third of the game, he's a tired player that loses a little bit of pace. Uh, yeah, so make the most out of him for probably the first 60 minutes of the game. Now, uh, the other... The other negative that I have for this player is that his dribbling sometimes seems a little bit clunky, maybe. Um, his ball control is alright, but it's his dribbling sometimes that makes him feel like a bit of a clunky player. Uh, and as I said, maybe use the marksman chemistry style, that might help boost things a little bit. But in all honesty, he's not really the type of player that I'm expecting to go on mazy runs with. He's more of a target man, in my opinion, uh, to be played with someone like Dybala next to him, who has the agility and all of that sort of stuff. Now, there is a long list of positives for Hernan Crespo because he still is, in my opinion, one of the best legend strikers on this game for sure. And just overall, one of the better strikers on the game. Um, he's got great pace, especially, as I said, for that first 60 minutes before his stamina starts run running out and he gets a bit tired. Um, for a six foot one player who I consider a target man, I, I was actually a little bit... Uh, impressed with, you know, surprisingly impressed with how quick off the mark he was and his overall sprint speed is very, very good. He's almost like a train. Once you get him going, it's going to be very tough to stop this guy. A uh, bit of a bulldozer approach, I think, sometimes. His physical is great as well, of course. I'm mentioning that his, he feels like a strong player, even though his in-game stat wouldn't necessarily suggest that. His attack positioning is great, right place, right time kind of player, and he does play a little bit like target man, and he has got fantastic aerial ability. You're going to score some headers with this guy, especially that near post corner header. He's in the right place for that one, and he, he executes it really, really well. Now, his skills and weak foot are definitely a massive plus. The four star on this guy is great. And then that ability to shoot on both feet just as comfortably is probably the best part about Crespo. Uh, lots of people don't know that he has the five star weak foot. So you can shoot from anywhere. They might not be expecting it. And well, <laughs> you're going to benefit from that by scoring loads of goals. And then, of course, his final positive is that he is just a goal scorer. He just finishes the ball left, right, center in the air. Poaching in front of goal, you name it, Crespo's going to score it from all sorts of distances and with all different techniques. He really is that good. Uh, so a stellar rating from me. He's one of my favorite legends for sure. I would urge you guys to test him out, try him out and see what you think of him because I think you'll find a uh, clinical finisher for your ultimate team. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. Peace.